Here it is, the Tesla wall connector. This one came in a pretty beat up box, but we're assuming the contents are okay. Yeah, let's cut some more tape here. This is the bracket for top entry only. We won't be using this today. Okay, first things first, taking the cover off requires a little T10 screw right here to be undone. Once the lower T10 is out, using a flathead screwdriver for the instructions, you disengage the snaps. A bicycle tire lever would also do the job and prevent you from scratching the unseen parts of your charger. Okay, once all the snaps are off, use the included security driver to remove the top cover. You'll notice there's a pair of openings here for conduit, and this is the uh, signal opening, I believe. We're gonna cover the unused ones with these two included plugs. They do have a little rubber gasket included right there. This gasket is for rear entry conduit. Now, one interesting thing to note, the signal port is a half inch conduit. EMT, that screws right in. Of course, we can't run our two six gauge cables through that. So they provide this one inch condom. Well, guess what guys, a three quarter inch set screw adapter fits right in with the nut on the inside. It's a little bit loose. And we're gonna cock this up to seal it from the elements. But that is a very nice fit when it's tight. Okay, here's the wall side of things. Last weekend I ran this three quarter inch conduit, drilled this hole, chamfered the edge of the chisel, and you made this little notch for the little set screw indentation there. So this guy's ready to go. We're gonna center it up on here and try to mark the location of the spot. Okay, you guys can see what's going on here, right? All right, my favorite fastener for concrete, Tapcon. Unfortunately, the heads of the tap cons aren't letting this thing sit flush, so those are gonna have to come out. He's hitting the screw. Should I grind the nub, the screw, or make the countersink deeper? Decisions. Increased countersink it is. Now, if you've actually read the instructions, you know this isn't the fitting that's recommended by Tesla. My solution to sealing this is silicone. Please don't hit in the comments, just do it however you want. Okay, charger's ready, wall's ready, and our top screws are ready. Time to mount it. Look at these little covers. Look how nice that is. Good job, Elon. The wiring is going to be pretty straightforward. Ground goes here. Line one and line two. Let's get these stripped and cut. Quarter stripped. Now I'm going to wrestle that guy into there. Off camera. Okay, you see where that goes? Notice all that insulation is buried up in there, despite what I stripped. I'm actually going to strip a little more on the next one. Okay, these are the connectors to the heavy wire. Okay, shown here is where the cable goes all the way open. I'm gonna tighten this up. That's pulled up towards the screw head. And that's gonna provide the clamping action. So make sure to open it up all the way. 
and push the screw head down to make room for the cable. And lastly, we have to torque these to 33 inch pounds. Here we go. Okay, spot on. Yeah, right. So if your electrician carries a torque wrench, you know, post that in the comments. I'd be interested to know. Instructions say line to line of 240 or less, dip switch one must be down. Dip switch two, always in the up position. Next, the rotary switch. There's a table in the instructions. I set mine to 48 amps, which corresponds with position number nine. Read the instructions here, folks. Now the cover goes back on. This ribbon cable connects right here. Just for good. Now we're gonna reattach those torque screws. Remember where you put them? Now I'm using what equates to about a toy driver for these. I like it because it's incapable of damaging anything. Then I'm gonna come back and tighten them by hand. Okay, now the decorative top cover. Now if you believe in Murphy's Law, leave this on until it works. Right, to turn the power on. Okay, no spark, no smokes. Good. Now after a sequence of flashing lights, which I missed, the top green lights are on solid. That means everything should be good. Here we go. We're up to 39 miles per hour at 48 amps. Okay, now that everything's working, Don't forget the little T10 down here. 